Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24, verse 28. Read. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. What does that mean? The carcass is a sign. A sign. If you see, um, excuse me, the eagles is a sign. The eagles flying around is a sign that there is a dead body, a dead body of an animal or maybe a person somewhere in that area that that eagle is flying around in. Do everybody understand that? So what the Lord is saying is these are the signs of his second coming. Read on. Immediately after the tribulation of those days. Read on. Shall the sun be darkened. Shall what? The sun be darkened. Shall what? The sun be darkened. Read on. And the moon shall not give her light. Read on. And the stars shall fall from heaven. Read on. And the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And what? And the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Read. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. Read. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. So why are these nations in distress? These are the ones that knows what's going on. The leaderships within these nations that knows what's going on. That that sign was actually a sign of the second coming of Jesus Christ. Do everybody understand that? Read on. And they shall see the Son of Man. Coming in the clouds of heaven. Read on. With power. Read on. And great glory. Read on. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. Come on. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Okay, everybody clearly see that, right? Let's go back to Luke chapter 21. Luke chapter 21. So again, that, that, that uh, eclipse of the sun was a major thing. You had all nations... Uh, that, that was a phenomenon if you had people getting solar shades and they were just sitting up there looking at it and didn't realize they was looking at the message of their destruction. They was up there. This is beautiful. Oh my God, the sun. Oh my goodness. This feels so weird. Look at the sunrise, Derek. It's an every direction. Oh my goodness. There's like... Sunset, sunrise, every direction. People are going nuts. This, I did not expect. I don't know what I expected, but... Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> Trump put on his shades. <laughs> but they whispered in his ear, listen, now, you, you might be the president when you're going to catch hell, okay? Everybody see this, right? Uh, everybody got this, right? Let's look, at, uh, let's look at Luke chapter 21, verse 25 again. Where you at, Kakam? Let me see it. Let me see it. Luke chapter 21. Is it Luke? Yes, yeah, sir. Luke chapter 21, verse 25. No, let me see it. Let me see it. Go ahead. And there, shall, and there shall be signs in the sun. Come on. And in the moon. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon, okay? Did we have these things going on? Was these things prophesied about in the Israelite Church of God, Jesus Christ? Did you get the breakdown of the sign in the moon? Did the sign in the moon happen on a significant day? Did it happen while the majority of the prophets was out in front of the White House telling them that they going to pay? Did it happen then? Read on. And in the stars. And what? In the stars. Okay, they read the stars. Do everybody understand that? And the Lord got, oh, that, that's the, uh, the astrologies. Do everybody understand that? Everybody got that, right? They read that. They read those messages out there. And the Lord had messages out there letting them know that their kingdom is coming to an end very soon. Do everybody understand that? Read on. And upon the earth, distress of nations. And upon the earth, what? Distress of nations. Okay, now, hold now. What are they distressing about again? They distressing about the second coming of Jesus Christ. Do everybody understand that? If that wasn't clear enough for you and Matthews, let's get to the book of Joel chapter 2. Let's go to the book of Joel chapter 2. Some people call it Joe. I just got to say that. I just got to say. Usually Edomites call it Joe. Okay. We, Joel. Joel chapter 2. And we're going to start at verse 30. Jeremiah, uh, Joel chapter 2 verse 30. If that wasn't clear enough for you, then let's just get straight to the point. Read. And I will show wonders in the heavens. Who's going to be showing the wonders? Jesus Who's going to be showing the wonders? Is it the vanities of the Gentiles? Is it Shango? Is it Allah? 
Who's going to be showing the wonders? Let me hear you say it. Who's going to be showing the wonders? Jesus Christ. That ain't sounding like you're excited about this. Who's going to be showing the wonders? Jesus Christ. Who's going to be showing the wonders? Jesus Christ. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Everybody understand that? Christ. Remember what the scripture says when we get back to Luke. It's going to say, lift up your heads. When you see these things happening, you're supposed to be the most excited. The time you have waited on, it appears as if it's coming. Read verse 30 one more time. And I will show wonders in the heavens. Read on. And in the earth. And what's going to be happening in the earth, the wonders in the heavens is the signs and the sun and the moon and the stars. And what's going to be happening in the earth? Read on. Blood. What's going to be happening in the earth? Blood. Do y'all see blood being shed all over this earth? Do y'all see blood being shed all over this earth? Uh, Read on. And fire. Do you see people getting blown up all over this earth? Uh, Do you see things getting blown up all over this earth? Uh, Read on. And pillars of smoke. It's pillars of smoke going up all over this earth from destruction. Uh, Read on. The sun shall be turned into dark. Read it again. The sun shall be turned into dark. Read it one more time. The sun shall be turned into dark. Say it loud. The sun shall be turned into dark. What happened the other day? The sun shall be turned into dark. What did God do? The sun shall be turned into dark. What did Jesus Christ do? The sun shall be turned into dark. What happened? The sun shall be turned into dark. Say it loud. The sun shall be turned into dark. What did the Bible say? The sun shall be turned into dark. What happened the other day? The sun shall be turned into dark. What did the Bible say? The sun shall be turned into dark. What happened? The sun shall be turned into dark. What happened? The sun shall be turned into darkness. The sun shall be turned into darkness. The sun shall be turned into darkness. Everybody got that? Uh, Everybody got that? Uh, Everybody got that? Uh, you champion, please. The sun shall be turned into darkness. You got these dumb, stupid ass, dumb ass. I just, I was like, look at these dumb asses. They putting on their solar shades. They all, they, this has brought us all together. People all over the world, they all stopped for one moment. We forgot about all our troubles just to see this solar eclipse. Okay, Joel should have been 2 verse 31 written right in, right in the darkness. What verse you in, sir? Verse 31. Read it again. The sun shall be turned into darkness. Come on. And the moon into blood. Come on. Before the great and terrible day. What does that sun turn into darkness mean? Before the day, the great and terrible day. What does that sun turn into darkness mean? The great and terrible day. What does the sun turn into darkness mean? The great and terrible day. What does the sun turn into darkness mean? The great and terrible day. What does it mean? The great and terrible day. What does it mean? The great and terrible day. What does it mean? The great and terrible day. You ain't excited enough. The great and terrible day. You ain't excited enough. The great and terrible day. You ain't excited enough. The great and terrible day. The what? The great and terrible day. The what? The great and terrible day. The great and terrible day. Praise the Lord our God, Jesus Christ, Israel. Praise the Lord our God, Jesus Christ, Israel. Praise Yahweh, Israel. Praise the Lord our God, Jesus Christ, Israel. Yeah. 
Praise his holy name, Israel. You shall be pleased. All over the Bible. The scripture says, do thy precepts, shall I get understanding? It's all over the Bible. Whom shall he teach knowledge? It's all over the Bible. For precept must be upon precept. Whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Everybody understand that? We got this in jo we got this in Joel. We got this in Luke. We got this in Matthews. It's all over the place. And it tells us that that sign, that sign, the sun, the moon first, seven months later, the sign in the sun. You tell me when on planet Earth. You could say, what, it was eclipse before? There was moon signs before? When on the planet Earth in the same, in the same time period? In less than 12 months. When the prophets happen to be out, okay? 